Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell, Scorpio, so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. So we see that you have a butterfly here, so that's some type of change and transition. And also somebody that is a runner and a twin flame. Okay, so a change, a transition, a level up, moving into a different mindset. We have yin and yang, balance, union, duality, a coupling, bringing somebody together, complementing each other. We have a butterfly, a relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, and then growth. Then we have a render, a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to your ego. Okay, so you got twin flames, a level up energy, relationship evolving, but then you also have a runner. So somebody's second guessing whether or not this is really the situation that they're supposed to be in. Meanwhile, it feels very comfortable and somebody's afraid. So somebody's getting cold feet. Holding on way too tight and your sensuality is beautiful. Or on another note, you got two people in your energy and somebody wants to hold on to something. Meanwhile, you're stepping into a higher level connection, Scorpio. So take it how it resonates for you. But strangely lonely, holding on way too tight would insist that there's another person, you know, trying to get into your energy. And your sensuality is beautiful would be, again, this twin flame soulmate relationship that is coming into union and creating beautiful things and beautiful energy. So the numbers are 17 or 71 and 25 or 52, okay? Somebody could be 25 or 52, which would also signify a younger person and a younger person. So you may be older than them or they may be older than you by a few, few years. There's also seven and eight, which is a synchronicity. So let's get some cards for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, so we have the happiness all as well, everything. Ten of Cups here with your Twin Flame Union and your Butterfly. So something coming into definitely like a higher level union and commitment. Damn. Okay. Wow. This is the reading, I guess. So Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, the Emperor, and Justice. You got divine love, harmony, blissful relationships, being in alignment, inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams coming true, family contentment, total love and support. Um, awareness of a full balanced life, belonging, finding your family or your community. So that's your soul tribe, like getting everything in life that you've always ever wanted. And also appreciating all the gifts that life has given you. So being thankful and appreciative to the divine and the universe for bringing you in everything that is on the table for you right now, Scorpio. Then you have the Six of Wands, public recognition, victory, process, self-confident, getting everything that you've ever wanted in life, I mean, and being recognized and celebrated for it. So definitely a change happening. So success, achievements, victory, like a total level up in your energy. We have the emperor out here, respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules, and power, authority, a father figure, protection, control, discipline, focus, practicality, a leader. This is somebody who is definitely like a boss daddy, a, a boss, a CEO, um, a higher level energy that is on a shit. Somebody who definitely represents logic, reason, and common sense. Somebody that is very structured and very level-headed, very balanced, very much that energy that you want to be in. Then we have justice here. So getting what you deserve, more or less. Justice is fairness, truth, clarity, equality, bringing things into balance, cause and effect, reaping what you sow. 
reminding you that karma is real and that there's consequences for everything. So getting what you deserve, your actions carry consequences and making sure that you're following the rules, making sure that you're act acting fairly like a stand up person in this situation. Cause this is almost like when divine blesses you, what you going to do, who you going to be like making sure that you are doing everything that you need to do in order to be the per like, what is it? Walk in your talk. So being a representative of the life that you actually really want to be in and be involved in, Scorpio. So, I mean, I'm going to just close it because this is as beautiful as this going to get. Like, you seem like you are very content and happy in your situation right now, Scorpio. And you are evolving into the next phase because butterflies are evolution. So if you haven't met your twin flame, they're on their way. Um and more balance in your life than you could could have ever imagined. It feels peaceful in your energy, Scorpio. So there's another energy, like I said, that is trying to invade, but it's more or less like either you definitely uh, hauled ass, because <laughs> it says the runner. So you definitely hauled ass the minute you saw it. And it's like recognizing the red flags and making sure that you're very uh, aware when people try to come into your energy that are not good for you. So definitely have healed or healing vibes surrounding you. And yeah, Scorpio. So this is the reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you wish to donate, all the links are in the description box down below. Go with God.